Oh, hey, Alexa. It looks like you need some dry and deoxygenated solvent from our dry solvent still. Well, to do that, we need to back up a bit. The first thing Alexa will do is get her flask ready. A Strauss flask is best for this operation, and we usually have one ready in the oven. Assuming the flask has been in the oven for at least four hours, take the hot flask from the oven and bring it over to the Schlenk manifold. Safety note, the flask is well over 100 degrees Celsius, so use protective gloves to handle it. Attach a hose barb adapter to the flask using silicon grease and rubber bands or a clamp. You can also insert a Teflon stopper into the flask, but don't close this joint completely. You are now ready to evacuate the flask to remove the air from the flask. If you worked quickly and efficiently, the flask should still be very hot by the time you begin the evacuation. This ensures no water condenses on the inner surface of the flask and contaminates our solvent with water. Continue this evacuation cycle until the flask has cooled to room temperature. Once your flask is at room temperature, close the vacuum port and refill the flask with nitrogen. Perform two more of these evacuate and refill cycles before ending on the refill and having the flask under nitrogen pressure. At this point, you need to remove the Teflon stopper under flowing nitrogen gas and replace it with a rubber septum. This can be a pain in the butt, but be calm and persistent and don't freak out. As long as nitrogen is flowing out of the flask, your flask is safe from oxygen and water getting inside. Once your rubber septum is secured, close the flask at the hose barb adapter, close the tap on the Schlenk manifold, remove the hose from the flask, and stash the flask in a chemical carrier and bring it over to the solvent still room. Now, where were we? Oh yes, we have five solvents on our still, so find the one you want to collect and attach a long needle to the layer lock needle port at the end of the braided metal hose. Finger tight should be fine. Notice how Alexa has a rubber septum covering the pointy end of the needle? Safety first. For each solvent, you'll have a valve with four possible positions. Closed, refill, dispense, and evacuate. Refill will give you a nitrogen gas, dispense will allow the solvent to come squirting out, and evacuate gives you vacuum, though we won't be using that function here. Once you've attached your needle, turn the valve clockwise to refill. Wait for 20 or so seconds for the hose and needle to purge out the bad air before proceeding. At this point, you can insert the long needle into the septum on your flask, making sure the end of the needle is fully inside the bulb of the flask. At this point, do another clockwise turn of the valve to dispense. Liquid should begin flowing. If not, there is a green knob near the black valve that might need to be opened. If there is still no liquid, you can hear gas flowing, then the still might be empty. The liquid displaces some of the volume, and the gas inside will either need to leave or be pressurized. Pressurization could lead to a slow flow or a complete stoppage of flow, so I would suggest using a small pressure relief needle to let some of the gas escape. Puncture the septum, let it hiss for a short while, and then remove it again. You might have to do this a few times over the course of the fill. Once you've collected all you need, turn the valve back to refill. The liquid should be expelled from the tube and nitrogen should be flowing again. Here you can see the small dimple in the liquid surface where nitrogen is blowing out. For this next part, grab hold of the symptom to make sure it doesn't pop off accidentally. You are now going to gently pull the flask away to remove the needle. Place the flask back into your chemical carrier. With your flask safe and sound, turn the black valve back to closed and either remove the needle or plug the pointy end with a septum. Alexa will take her flask back to the Schlenk manifold and reattach it to one of the taps on the line. Do not open the flask until you have evacuated and refilled the hose itself to make sure the hose is completely clear of air.
With flowing nitrogen now, you can remove the rubber septum, replace it with a Teflon stopper, and completely close it up. It's now ready for action.